Lenovo Yoga Tab 3, the most slimmest and anticipated tablet of 2016. Wait, first of all, I'm sorry guys for reviewing 2016 gadget at 2017. It's all because of the design of this tablet that made me so. Wow, look at the design guys, how cool and how slim it is, right? It is because of the yoga that it does. Anyways, jokes apart. So, without any further delays, let's explore the beauty. Damn. Uh. Yeah. Subscribe to our channel Your Tech Bro and hit the bell icon nearby so that you don't miss any of the notifications in future. And also hit the thumbs up button in case if you end up liking the video. That mean a lot to us. So there are two variants in this device guys, the 8 inches and the 10 inches one. The one that we are reviewing in this video is the 10 inch variant. First let's just check the specifications of this device so that you guys get a clear idea whether this meets your specifications or whether this meets your expectations or not. Under the hood, this device is powered up by a 1.3 GHz quad core processor. Qualcomm Snapdragon 210 chipset, 1GB of RAM, 16GB of internal storage, a micro SD card supports up to 128GB, a 8MP camera with 180 degree rotating lens, 8 or 10 inch LCD TFT display. Moving on to the settings and the about device section, we see that this device is currently running on Android 6.0 and I'm pretty sure that you won't get any more further updates in future than this. This is the level best this device can give you. And uh, yes, uh, this is not any LED or OLED display. So do kindly bear with the display strikes being appeared over the screen. Going on to the physical overview of this device and uh, you get some displays like this. Okay. Over the screen you get a Lenovo branding. At the very bottom of the screen you get a rotatable uh, camera lens and a speaker. And uh, this device is extremely slim. You get the yoga branding at the back and smooth uh, rubberized uh, finish for the grip of this device. Okay, to the right you'll be getting a 3.5mm jack as well as a microphone. To the left you will be getting a power on and off button, a micro USB port for charging and the volume rockers. To the back, opening this, you will be getting a slot for the, your uh, SIM card as well as the micro SD card. And uh, the build quality of this device is extremely slim and sleek. Most probably the first time when you see this device, I think anyone can fall in love with this. And uh, well, this is the case that happened to me when I saw this device for the first time. Thanks to the high quality rubber finish at the back that adds even more grip to the device. And now with the foldable extension at the back, you can now fold your device in 4 different ways. Moving on to the outdoor conditions. This is the place where the real success in each and every device lies. But I should say, this device lacks that. As it is a normal LCD display, you get to see yourself on the screen at times. I mostly use this device as a mirror when the screen isn't on, even in the outdoor lighting conditions. And well, uh, I'm not in perfectly outdoor conditions and I'm just right now present in semi-indoor conditions. Look at the performance of this device in semi-indoor conditions. Then what will be the case of the outdoor conditions? So why don't we play a game in this device? I'm feeling bored of talking something technical. Well, let's play a popular game. Yeah, the Temple Run. 
as you guys can see this device performs good i didn't expect this from this device but here comes the twist in the tail yes guys i am talking about the heating issue the heating issue has started evolving after uh, 15 minutes of gameplay the first 15 minutes was excellent running smooth after 15 minutes the heat has evolved as well as the lag in the game has occurred so uh, i don't think so i can recommend this device for gamers for normal gaming like uh, this device for playing around 10 minutes like leaving a small break and then continuing back for heavy gamers like asphalt 8 model compact i don't recommend this device for you guys well it is more obvious to experience these kind of uh, issues in a qualcomm snapdragon 210 chipset and now let's jump to the camera guys as there is a speciality in camera here yes you get a camera sphere in this device that can be revolved 180 degrees something in huge words right in simple words the single camera can act as both front as well as rear one this is, this can be understood right okay <laughs> technically this device has a 8 megapixel shooter the clarity is good at perfectly lit conditions but at indoor and outdoor lighting conditions they tend to be below average so camera is also at the average side in this device and summing up to the point saying that this device is only perfect with its build quality and camera features as well as the battery as it is a 6250 mAh watt it lasts for nearly a day and a half on a regular usage but there are many downsides in this device like the display, the internal specs, gaming as well as the camera at its low light conditions. Well, the 8 inches variant is cost for 15,000 and the 10 inches variant is cost for around 19,000 in India. Keeping all these aspects in mind, you guys decide yourself whether to buy this or is it suitable for you in all key features. I'll just wind up the video here and catch you all in another exciting video. If you end up liking this video, please don't hesitate to hit the like button and if you want for the more videos in future like this, consider subscribing to our channel and hit the bell icon. That means a lot to us. So guys, keep updated, stay tuned and support us till the end.